game and not really playing like SMC. Now, of course, they'll correct me and say that. coming from behind.
there, but he runs right into Lion. Lays it out. Now Lotto takes down Lady Tori. Oh, the next round. Very good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the VRML. My name is TFH with a swear word in the middle. I am joined by my good friend and co-caster, Trip. Trip, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited to see the uh, top two EU teams duke it out today. Yeah, this is a very exciting match. It was supposed to happen last week, but a postponement was called, so... Lo and behold, it has fallen on us today, but nonetheless, we are bringing it to you tonight, and it's going to be a very exciting one. It should be very exciting indeed, and we have all of the bands, all the information we need to get this round started out, so let's go over those. Our, um, our Vikings are banning Quarantine. Uh, you know, I think that that's a smart play. Beginners are pretty, pretty good on the Quarantines, uh, and Beginners are banning snow peak and i think they just don't want to play it yeah. or maybe they watched the cast the other night where you know vikings got multiple c4 kills on a long range map i mean that's a hard feat to do right yeah no <laughs> you can't toss it across the map so <laughs> what are you supposed to do how do we counter this the new meta is coming out here i think snow peak is just being banned because a lot of these top two teams they want to stick to the meta that's already been established before and they don't want to change it up by having to learn a new map. That could also be true. Although, personally, I like Snow Peak. It's a good map. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hit or miss um, with certain teams. Uh, it really depends on the play style. Some teams prefer to have that close range combat. Snow Peak does offer a bit on that. But when you get to that long range uh, combat that's in that map, it can be killer for those people who specialize in close range combat speaking of close range combat we have map number one ready for y'all it is gonna be do, 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 subway do. subway is the choice by the vikings i believe they are the home team so i'm assuming it is their choice it appears that i am right wait no they are on defense yeah so they gave they up give it up they gave up the first map pick to beginners. Just to have that Volk advantage. That's pretty, that's interesting. That is interesting. And now I'm going to have to look at these stats here because uh, if this is a beginner's choice, I, I mean, they've only played it 11 times. They've won it a lot. But that's not saying much. They win a lot of their maps. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, all of their win percentages right now are above 80%, except for Tanker, which they've only played six times. So, I mean, like, overall, they, they win a lot. Uh, but they've only played Subway 11 times. Uh, but it looks like Vikings have only played it 12, and they've only won it five. So their win rate's not that great. So maybe they're just banking. Beginners are banking on that fact that they're statistically better they you know they think they can beat vikings uh plus they also have some good shield players um but yeah i i definitely <laughs> don't i didn't see this as a beginner's pick i honestly i thought vikings picked this yeah no i would have expected something like downfall and would normally be quarantine but that got banned so we won't be uh, sadly seeing that today maybe even bizarre i'd be down to see some bizarre with these two teams it's funny, looking at beginner stats, Downfall, Bizarre, and Quarantine, they have an 83% win on all three of those. They're it's like they want to keep it, you know? Yeah. The same across Gotta keep all it level. Maps. Gotta keep it level. You can't you gotta... let people know which ones you're better at, right? You <laughs> yeah. gotta keep you gotta win which, the same Which one on do we map. ban? Which one do we ban? They're good at all three of them. Like, what do we do? Too good do? on a certain map? 
Gotta lose a couple rounds, I guess. <laughs> yep, gotta lose two of these rounds. That's how this whole strategy comes into play here. They're equally, perfectly good on all three maps to the point where people can't decide what map to ban anymore. The so they IQ have to lose there. two. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's genius, genius stuff coming out from the uh, beginners. We're still waiting on one member, but we're gonna quickly go over the lineups here as they stand right now. On the beginner side with four members, as of right now, we have Dr. Killinger, Neox, Icy Woods, Smoils. I imagine Woods 43 is gonna be involved in this. You, you don't see I, one of the I Woods think brothers. You're right. uh, on the Viking side, we got Noctum, Nolik, Mantis, Spoilty, and Uncle Sam. God bless America. Yeah, I definitely think we're going to see Woods 43 because beginners right now only have six players and I haven't seen Cushberries in a very long time. Yeah, maybe beginners are beginning to have kind of like that global cam problem that they had last season where player like their, their strong players were kind of just kind of beginning to phase out of the game and then they had a recruitment problem on their hand, you know? Maybe we'll uh, see know how newer, that is. <laughs> newer, newer faces in beginners. And there we go, Woods43 is in the lobby. Yeah, the newest face on the beginner side is Neox, who came He's a very from fresh face. formerly He's a Dead guy. Logic. Yeah, he is uh, from uh, Dead Logic, the uh, the success story, success story that was Dead Logic. Um, and I think all of those players that were on that team have found their way onto top tier teams. I believe actually uh, Uncle Sam and uh, Nolik were both Dead Logic as well so it's amazing how much that short stint of a team no Nolik's always been a viking oh true no you know you're right you're maybe not them no lock no right no you're, you're right you're right no. pronounce the same spelled no differently yeah uncle sam definitely was a viking though or a uh dead logic a dead logic player though dead logic uh let's see i'm trying to think of other ones uh there was obviously neox as well uh, that was probably he. He probably made it the best out of Dead Logic, but he was the co-captain, I believe. Yep, uh, they've had a, they've had a lot of players. I mean, Rexar is now on Pacifist, I believe. Whales on Pacifist. Keija is on Water. Keija has his own team. Big Mike's on Fury. Uh, no, all moved no, around, he, but he's. Oh. You know what? I heard the beeps. <laughs> That's the wrong mic, sir. <laughs> it's uh, it's Big Mike's on uh, Rome. Oh, he's on Rome. Okay. Rome, yeah. Uh, I, I would know if he's uh -huh. on Fury. Uh, I've got I've got intel on Fury. <laughs> well, without further ado, we're gonna drop you into the action here. Once the there we go. North stairs objective. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be an exciting one. It's just so aggressive right off the start. And there's gonna be a five man push coming out from beginners. This wouldn't be the first time that they got really aggressive at the start. We saw it in the global cam round of last week, I believe. Both teams flash each other and then just give up. They're they're a little scared. They know that each other are there. Well, Vikings are bringing right. it now. A bit of C4 There's goes C4. over, finds Woods and Neox, both Res Bull. Killinger's gonna try to go for that Res. Nolok is gonna try to be able to pull that off, but Killinger on the shield is just able to prevent that from happening and shuts that down. Now we're into a 3v4 situation. Killinger pushes the aggression up to the stairs. Now a bit of nade support coming over through. It finds oh. Oh, the C4 again. Beginners oh, are reduced to down. one operational member. That's... So let's recap what happened there for a second. Woo. Okay. So the C4 comes up and over the top, gets two. The res comes out. Icy Woods actually shot Neox in the back of the head, going for the guy on the corner. Then yeah, this is coming out. they move around the corner. Dr. Killinger and Icy Woods go down to a C4 that was planted and left as uh, one of the Vikings rotated away. And now... They're all back up. It's a three on three. Yeah. They're still pushing with the shield. This was definitely a lot more aggressive than we thought it was going to be, and we're loving it. And Killinger is now using the shield in order to be able to kind of spot out enemy positions. He's not really getting aggressive with it. He's not trying to force combat with it. He's just trying to use it as callouts and let Icy Woods do all the dirty work. Coming yeah, the over. shield leaving Icy Woods is a little... I think, is he looting? That's what he's doing, yeah. Yeah, I think he's trying to get himself a better gun for when he actually has to push down here. 
some people on the shield really don't like the you know trying to fight with the pistol and trying to predict enemy movements and that's understandable it's a it's a weird way to play the game so they prefer to have you know a trusty ar with them or whatnot be able to have that as kind of like a backup weapon in case you know you know all things go to crap basically Killinger now scavenging nades and throwing them up to his uh, position. I've seen a couple of teams do this where they just kind of like place grenades. Look, he's got two there now. Just making a little, uh, making a little, little grenade pile. He's stockpiling. <laughs> hey, man. But uh, I think Walmart he read the don't code. sell grenades no more with coronavirus. You got to start lobbing them down. Although he doesn't need to be worried about C4, as two have gone off already. Yeah, there's definitely a lot safer for the shield. He's going to try to make his way down the stairs now. There are a bunch of corners being watched here, but Killinger having that shield, he's pretty safe to move up to the objective if he has to. But oh no, a bit of his feet exposed itself, and Noctum's going to take the full advantage of that opportunity. And now it's Icy Woods and Smoils that are left. Icy Woods able to find Uncle Sam. And now Vikings are reduced to two beginners as well. Yeah, it was almost immediate. As, it, as you said, the shield is safe. He could shot in the feet. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess I, cur I I have a cursed voice, maybe. maybe I you have know, the, the stairs in general are just bad. Yeah, the, the yeah. stairs of the shield is weird because when you feel like that you're holding it correctly, you're not because... You got to think of the stairs as a ramp and the player model is going to try to put the feet on the floor as best as it possibly can And sometimes your little toes will expose themselves and uh, yeah, then um, That's yeah, you the definitely end of have that to push it, like down into the you know into yeah. the stairs what, what feels like you're pushing it into the floor. You're not You gotta you gotta really get down with your body and then force the shield down lower than where your feet are because you're going downstairs. But, you know, you're on a flat ground, I hope, in VR in, like, your real life. So it's a little bit of a weird feeling, but a little bit of practice can definitely get you acclimatized to that. So I'd like to point out a couple of things here. First, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that the beginners okay. didn't give up on that push, but it looks like they're rotating now. Uh, however, have only got a minute and 20 left. Yeah, they're running low on time, and I would like to point out that Woods is using that belt fed, and there's still the bug where everyone on the map can hear you reload it. So when he was at the top of the stairs and he reloaded, you could see Noctum and them, uh, you know, kind of peek out looking for that kill, because they know that that LMG guy is not able to fire. Yeah. These little bugs, it's, it's amazing how quickly, uh, you know, top level teams can pick up on these really minor bugs. 50 seconds left. Both teams holding tight. Vikings. I don't know if Man Mantis' spot's pretty exposed, but I don't no even one's going to be coming about from it the anymore. exposed side, so I think he's good. They're, they're going to be worried about an immediate push, but they're going to try to hold on to the objective and let the timer run out on Woods and crew. Yeah, Smoils and Woods both have LMGs. Mantis finds Smoils. Woods running up now. He's going to toss a nade, nade but it's going to be ready. too late. Yeah, the nade was a little late there. It definitely, it, 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 time ran out, and or no, no, time didn't run out. Time it, was running out. It that's was what, running out. Yeah, it <laughs> was running out. But the Vikings member was able to get that pick before he could even toss the nade, and that just ends the round. See, and that's that's a difference in play styles, or not not even play styles. It's not it's not that one. You know, one group plays faster than the other. One, it's the mentality that we're gonna wait and we're gonna make this one play at a set time, then limits what you can do if that play goes wrong. Now, for beginners, it works out most of the time. All right, I mean they're yeah. at the top of the EU. They are or, really I good. Don't, I, I, they might be the top. I don't know. Vikings might be top, but they, you know, if you if you attacked it, say. A minute in and your plan didn't work you could then redirect and try something else whereas if you sit and wait three minutes and then attack and then it fails 
you've got like a minute and a half left to rotate around the whole map. I mean, it, it, it kind of shoots you in the butt. Yeah, the, there was definitely kind of a, uh, a change in plans there a little bit too late. One minute and 30 seconds left is not enough time to facilitate a beginner's rotation. They like to play pretty slowly and uh, that was pretty evident even when the time was running out. I'm almost half tempted to say that they weren't checking their tablet. Because I think if they, I think if they saw that minute thirty, they would have opted to kind of stick to their guns, go down a way, you know, go down the north side, which is a path that they've already been working on and trying to clear, and that they ha already have a good idea where the enemy locations are. Maybe could have tried to work something out there, but doing that rotation definitely just, it puts a sixth friendly on Vikings board, and that's the timer itself. Yeah, and I think with two still up, I probably would have just pushed those north stairs spread onto opposite sides of the stairwell. Because you got to think, he's going to pick one of us. One of us is going to go down, but the other one's going to get the kill, you know? Well, we're going to hop into round two. The beginners will defend the north objective. It looks like they're going to get really aggressive with it as well as they sh shoot three people up there. A flash is going off. That probably got Killinger. No, he's looking pretty confident there. Nog's going to toss a nade out. Killinger's going to try to rotate. Ooh, I think that was a fake nade. Nalik threw it around there. He was able to get that frag. Now, beginners have already lost one member. More nades coming out. They won't find purchase. Looks like a beginner, or I'm sorry, Vikings are going to be uh, taking this a little bit easier than the beginners were, not trying to get as aggressive. That is kind of what got the beginners last time. That aggression led them into a trap laid by the vikings and uh the rest is pretty much history vikings putting some grenades out onto the stairs yeah we've gone two minutes into the round already only one pick and that was on the beginner side c4 goes off a little early won't be able to find anybody the call for the shield was a little too early as well. Either that, beginners thought that Vikings were trying to set up a formation at the very top of the stairs, and I don't think anyone really does that anymore with the uh, with the use of C4 nowadays. I like that Spoilty is calling out the class. Ooh, Ooh no, what a gets nade. With a nade! That was a good and nade. And a confirmation nade is going to come out too. Probably yep, get him as well. That's good. There he goes. That's He's out. Perfectly timed. Very good well, nades coming out there. Is calling out the dead guy's classes, and he said this is a rifleman, so there's they're keeping track of how many possible C4s there are. Yeah, they're keeping track of, like... Well, we, we've already used one C4. And so the, the chances are it's probably down there if there's a second one. And we've been seeing a lot of the double C4 strats. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a look around. See if we can see if there is one while we wait. I'm not seeing it off of a quick strafe. I'm actually going to... looks like the push is coming out now, so we're going to focus back in on the action. Knocked him, coming down the stairs with the shield. You can see he's got it much more lower on his player model. Got to protect those feet. Yeah, he's he's phasing it through the steps, which is good. He is, He himself is a lot lower. He's actually in the prone position right now. Some little couple shots going out there. It's really hard to use the shields on the stairs. Mantis looking for icy woods out of the uh, downstairs stairwell. Not finding those shots either. Now it's now it be... gets smoils in the backside. Yeah, and that now really icy woods rotates away. That opens the up the sides. And woods goes through the corner. Spoilty moves up a bit. He's very brave right now, being able to kind of work that. He's gonna try to go for code. Spoilty is oh on objective woods. God. Wow, this is nuts. The, oh the cap my comes out. God. The cap comes I have no words for that. Ballsy. He walked up in the pre fire with a gun in his face and just typed in the code. Incredible stuff coming out of oh spoilty there. He caps under pressure. I don't think it could get more pressure than that. The enemy is literally right around the corner. That is That's a that's a flex. That's, insane. that's a flex. That's insane.
<laughs> well, Vikings are easily running away with this right now. The current scoreline is 3-0 on map one. And we've only gone through one objective. <laughs> this yeah, is Vikings showing that maybe they're not that bad at this map. No, maybe maybe they've uh, put the put the effort in. We've seen this map a lot more practiced and played nowadays. We we see it appear a lot more in lobbies and you know pub and cop lobbies and even in games too. We see a lot more teams willing to take the risk on subway after you know the whole tunnel systems were added. And for a while after those tunnel systems were added. A lot of teams were not really digging it at first. They they thought it was a little too complicated that people were getting lost. But I, I think time has definitely showed that those tunnels have definitely uh, done a good mark for Subway. Yeah, I think people didn't like it because now they had too many angles to you know guard and. But personally, I I like Subway. I think it's good. The tunnels were definitely needed uh, because only having two choke points was just not a, a valuable map to play. Yeah, this this map used to be kind of the embodiment of the what we call the Volk advantage, where if you start off on Volk, you you will almost be guaranteed to win if you can hold your rounds perfectly. And just the choke points on Subway, you could easily mow down teams trying to make an entrance in, and it just whoever was Volk first would always win. That's why never, no one ever chose it, because if you chose it, you'd have to go Marsoc. Yeah, well, five, five defenders to watch two entrances was a little OP. And nowadays we have objectives out there that are, what? Four defense points for five defenders, and then God knows how many lanes that you have to watch your entrances with. It's kind of done a turnaround where it used to be choke points. Now it's way too open objectives. Yeah, it really shows you which teams practice. You know, if it's like everyone can have a five man defense, right? You, yeah. you know, five, defenses aren't hard to plan out. But what you what the top teams have to do is they have to plan out. OK, here's our defense. If there's only three of us left. Or if it's just two of us and it's these two specific people or these two specific people, they go to different positions and they watch different angles based on who's left and how many are left. And they don't just sit and guard the whole thing. Like, stay, they don't stay in the same spot. If you have a five-man defense and people start dying, you don't stay in your same spot. Yeah. Well, we are waiting on one member of the Vikings to come on in. In the meantime, we're just going to throw to an intermission, give ourselves a little bit of a vocal rest, but we will definitely see you when the uh, rounds pick back up.
grab loyalty and the push is hard on the objective right now too old has to respond as one is inside the corner killinger's punching in the code trying to put captains up to nil and he does the incredibly aggressive push in the center try a little bit something different here and there yeah absolutely i think the same thing but you know what i think it's and i think they're executing better because Welcome back, everyone. We are on the deciding round for Vikers. Vikings. <laughs> Vikers. What am I saying? Or beginners could be trying to claw their way back here and try to get themselves a map one. But without further ado, we're going to drop you right back into the action. We're going to have a basement objective. I think this would be a perfect way to see Vikings have to defend from a beginner's attack. And... From all the times I've cast the beginners, they like to wait to the last minute and then bring the pressure. One C4 on camera three there, and it looks like Spoils, he's gonna place another one somewhere in the tunnel. Yeah, and Killinger will be bringing the shield. Noctum's gonna be trying to push down into the, uh, the lower tunnel from middle platform. I think he hears the beginners, but he hasn't made his presence very apparent to the beginners yet. They they kind of moved away without him. I think he's just guarding it, and he's going to wait until, you know, one of his guys' C4s go off. Because that lets him know that they're all the way up at the end of the tunnel there. It's a very interesting formation here we have on the shield. We have Woods and Killinger. Woods is, instead of trying to get the picks that the shield will bait out, he's actually going to try to cover the shield's flank. Looks like Killinger is actually going to opt for middle platform. This could be very interesting for Noctum. Take a look at what Noctum's got coming. I don't see a C4 on the stairway. No, both C4s are in the tunnel. Oh, they are in the tunnel. Okay. One is right here on three, and the other one is right outside the door on the pole. Oh, okay. Very interesting. You actually see them both from this camera three right there. Well, a bit of aggression's coming out here. Woods and Killinger have opted to go back into the booby trap area of two C4s. They're going to be taking their time. We've already used uh, um, two minutes and 20 seconds so far. Killinger has a lot of corners to check for yeah. C4 there. The, the, all, these, all these boxes can have C4 behind them. You really don't know where the enemy uh, put them. I, personally, as a shield guy, I try to avoid this entrance because... It's it's a pretty vanilla shield route and everyone prepares for it. Killinger's gonna toss a nade out, disarming one. And the uh, the Vikings aren't really happy about that. Bit of a firing going on from Mantis up on the north stairwell. He sees a push coming in from the catwalk on the south side. Yeah, if we go up to the upstairs, Neox is also running a shield coming in the um, lower north stairs, try, or trying to get to the lower north stairs. He's being shot at from the lower south stairs by Mantis. But Smoils is looking for the pick on him from the overpass. Nox going to be able to find Woods. The Woods is going to be able to, or he's going to be able to find one of the Woods brothers. Uh, the other brother will avenge. Spoils yeah. and Mantis get in a firefight, and Mantis comes out on top. Spoilty finds Icy Woods as well. Yeah, now here comes a push from Nalek. Two mm. shields, all that's left. Yeah. We'll get to see if the shield is truly OP in the next two minutes here. Vikings are looking to 
get a 4 and 0 oh on subway against the beginners and the shields are coming together in the tunnel this is gonna be very interesting there is still a c4 left i do believe no it's not oh it's gone. It, it blew up oh rip that would have been awesome but killinger's gonna make a peek out here spoilty's gonna get nated right off the get-go and now it is mantis in there he tosses a nade in it falls a little short after it bounces off the backboard He's going to try to rotate back into a much better position. He actually is able to get into a position before Neox can see him. He tries to toss the nade. It doesn't go through the grate. doesn't work. Neox is now going to try to shoot through the shield. Won't work either. He just doesn't have that range, even though he has that shield laser combo going on. Nog's going to try to rotate upstairs, maybe try to get a flank on if possible, or just try to find a better position. With one minute remaining, he can afford to... A lot for these rotations because that's even more ground for beginners to have to cover if they could just keep Neox these shields has away picked up a rifle now Ooh. i'm pushing in yeah it looks like that they're gonna neox is gonna try to go vanilla style the pinching is coming out killing is able to find nalik a great pick confirmation nade coming out there 38 Neox seconds left. Uncle Sam tosses a oh, nade out. It's pistol. gonna. Neox ooh, but the nade's able to get him. Now it's only one remaining left. Killinger gets taken down by Mantis, and Vikings will go up 4 and 0 oh on map one. Great. Great map. Wow. Wow. I am, I am flabbergasted. Oh. The only people getting kills on the beginner side are Icy Woods and Killinger. Yeah, no, they just didn't. There was. They, could, they couldn't find him. They couldn't find him. The plans kept deteriorating at around like the two minute into the round mark because someone got picked when they shouldn't have. And they just kind of lost all their momentum. It's I'm actually really surprised that this happened because beginners have shown that they can play aggressively as well as slow and this will be kind of in their map because they got two very capable shield players but man vikings just uh, knew exactly what to do and if we remember that was beginner's map choice yes that's even more shocking like the odds were against Vikings. They didn't have the Volk advantage. It wasn't their map choice. It wasn't even a map that they were confident on, but it worked out for them. Well, our second map is going to be Downfall. I think this was something that we were going to expect. This would have been, so this would have been, this is Vikings pick now. If I'm mm. not mistaken. No, because this is beginner's pick. No, but Vikings gave up their pick on the first map. Right. You don't get the second pick. Right, right, right. So this is beginner's pick. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, because yeah. Vikings gave up first pick. Now that is beginner. Oh yeah, this is this is Vikings pick. Okay, this is because they gave up first pick. Or I'm confused. You, you give up your map choice to pick side. Yeah. But you don't get, it's not like you, you don't get the next map pick. So well, if you're oh, home, you get two map oh, picks. Oh yeah, no, they are, they are and giving up side again. the middle one. But if you give up your first choice, then that means away team gets the first one and the second one. They are giving up side again. So we're going to have Vikings on the Volk side again. Wow. Okay. At least I'm a little confused here, but we're going to resolve this later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll break it down for you. Okay, do it. Man, explain it to me, Trip. one, the home team gets to pick yep. whether they want to pick a map or a side. And they chose side on map they one. They chose side. And then you go on to map two, which is the away team's choice of side or map. They pick the map. Oh, okay, yeah. I get you. Mean. Yeah. The... The map, the yeah, each each map does not inter, does not affect the other map. 
Yeah. No, I, I was just trying to piece together if they if another <laughs> side thing happened, but I'm so used to the you know the uh, the normal way of going about you know your map picks like oh we're gonna choose map because we're home and then <laughs> and teams like Rome and Vikings come in and they're like we're just gonna play defense the whole time and screws yeah. everything up and you get confused <laughs> it messes up the train of thought well enough about the train of thought actually we're gonna hop right into round one on beautiful beautiful downfall I don't, I don't know Vikings if I'd say this defense. is beautiful but yes it is downfall it's beautiful in its own way. Uh, yeah, if you're really into deserts and adobe <laughs> buildings. Really into ice cream trucks full of dead bodies. Oh yeah, that that that's very appealing too. I just I just want to point that out. Like that's very nice. Beginners spawning in the Marsock convoy spawn, spreading out, looking for some early picks, but not finding anything. It looks like Vikings are all tucked in. We've got one in Heli bungalow, one in heli building, one in two in center hotel, and I lost the fifth one. I Where think did he the go? fifth knocked him. No, in fifth a one's very on objective. Uncommon position. Yeah, the I fifth one. I don't even have a name for this building. I've never used this building. <laughs> I've used the ones on each side of it. Well, you can I've just call it the building. west bungalow. <laughs> I guess. Now, now there's an SMC strategy there for you. SMC never goes here. You've heard no, it from SMC him. He just doesn't have names for it. <laughs> you said you never use it, though. <laughs> I just go, I say, follow the tracers and start shooting at people. Fair enough. I think Fury does the exact same thing, too, so you're not alone. Looking at the beginner's offense right now. We do see them kind of setting up spreading out they're doing a 3-2 push bias toward the north side they're trying to use that north hotel probably as a scouting position or some kind of cover a place to be able to find picks early on and you know tenderize the objective mm, maybe, tenderize. Season, maybe season it a little bit as well i'm down for a flame and yawn objective salt and pepper a bit of slow Flip cooking every minute Slow cooking, uh, maybe uh, okay. a bit of barbecue sous sauce. Uh, sous, sous vide, yeah, sous vide sous, would be good too, yeah. yeah. But that takes like a whole day, and we only got six minutes, so. Marvel was able to find V Mantis, and he recognizes that sous vide is not our thing either. With a I think he's going for the grilling. Yeah, very nice pick. Are you charcoal or gas in here? I think I'm, we're going with gas. I'm more of a charcoal guy. See, with six minutes, you don't have time to get that charcoal up to temp. That's you gotta true. Go gas. Yeah, you gotta go gas. Yeah. There's some pretty nice gas stoves out there, man. And I think beginners are wanting to begin begin a little bit of gas lighting. Man, that was hard to say. Still four Vikings up. They killers are tossing a nade into the window to clear out this building upstairs. Yeah. Um they're the Vikings defense though is pretty conservative as of right now. We're kind of holding back. That's not going to really stop the beginners from getting more aggressive. Uncle Sam's able to find Icy Woods. Man, this is not... Beginners are just not able to move as freely as they usually are against this Vikings defense. I, you know, I'm kind of wondering if the beginners are trying to do different things. Killinger coming around every single corner pre-firing. He wants to make sure that building is extra clear. Yeah, extra clean. But I, I, yeah, I wonder if they're trying to do different things to throw the Vikings off. They're having played each other so many times, they kind of get a feel for what you're going to do. Yeah, I think they're just trying to find something that uh, really meshes with how Vikings are defending. Maybe trying to change it up a little bit because Vikings clearly came prepared to this match. They know what beginners are going to do and they've been able to defend properly. This isn't really a normal approach i don't think they're all bunched up in lower red truck and pushing across the same approach i don't think i've ever seen beginners do this kind of approach normally they like spread out across the map and converge all at once from multiple angles i think they're trying to go for refrags so if someone goes down they can easily get that and be able to be able to clean their way up to the objective without having to worry about getting flanked 
Hillinger with a uh, accidental discharge there, it seemed, as he went to reload. Smoils and Spoilty might be facing off here pretty soon. Spoilty's looking outside that window, but this is the building where a good chunk of Vikings are set up in. Killinger taking shots at Mantis yeah. or No Nolik in the center hotel. What's really cheeky about that is even the entrance to other players' defenses are just being covered, and Uncle Sam's able to take full advantage of that as he's able to find Killinger. Now Vikings are on the uh, downside there, but as I say that, Smalls is able to find Nolik. And now we're into a 3v3 and a half. Nade going out there. Might be able to find Neox. He dodges just in time. Now Smoils is going to make an entrance into the helicopter two-story. He finds Uncle Sam. Nocton finds Woods 43 on the backside. And now it's Neox and Smoils against Spoilty. And Nocton, Nocton's going to have a line, but not able to connect with Neox. Yeah, Neox's he's going to get suppressed. Out. Now Neox and Spoilty are wall-to-wall -wall right now. Couple nades a going on there. I think it's a frag. I think it's a little too far. Yeah, it won't happen. Spoilty's able to find Neox though. Smoils comes in for that refrag, and now it's up to Noctum to try to shut down the beginners, but beginners are going to reign victorious right there as Smoils is able to find that pick. A little confused what Noctum was doing there. He had his pistol out. Hmm. Maybe he was out but of I ammo. I definitely hadn't heard it. I mean, I'd only see him shot, shoot at one person. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very interesting strategy. Uh, bringing a pistol to uh, downfall. Maybe he's trying to be the next Lorena scout. Makarov, no less. Ooh, that's that's just a flex. Well, beginners have gotten their first point on the board all day on map two. That's I don't think I've ever think I would have ever said that really. Yeah, and it's and, and it was in a very very tight one v one. I mean. You know, it, it wasn't an overwhelming win like we're used to seeing. I mean, these two teams have definitely evened out their play styles. I mean, Vikings have definitely stepped up and are one. I mean, they're one of the top teams. I think they are. Let me take a look. So I stopped saying the wrong thing real quick. I'm pretty sure they are the top EU team right now. No, beginners should be. Nope. Oh, Vikings is. Global Chem, Vikings, Beginners, G-Men, wow. SMC, Water, Blaze, Pacifist, SEAL Team Bravo, Danglers. That is your top 10 teams right there. Ooh, we had another drop on the Vikings side. Man, it's almost rough that Vikings, you know, they're such a great team, but they're not able to keep a good internet connection. <laughs> Well, we will have the same objective for the next one, I think. What are, you, what are you expecting out of a beginner's defense trip? Beginners like to smoke early and get to their positions. So I feel like they're going to spread out a little more, maybe all the way over towards that north guard building. Uh, let's see. Let's say one in Center Hotel, one in Heli Bungalow, one in North HQ. Possibly one in North Watch, although that is a little far for this objective. Oh, he's probably yeah, yeah, North Watch across the street from the ice cream truck. And maybe one in Brothel. Well this just in as well. Sorry to change the topic on you, but we've had two drops on the Viking side. But yeah, the spread probably will come out of beginners. They do like to have that massive area of coverage and just kind of hold that down i think they're a little bit more aggressive on their defense than they are on their offense but they've got to change some stuff up here if they want to be able to do like what vikings did on subway be able to 4-0 and be able to tie it back up points wise let alone being able to take the map but also like to point out go ahead that smoils got an ace Oh, you are right. He did ace that. I, I definitely didn't see an ace happening. Like, it wasn't, you know, 
Oh, Smoils gets one, Smoils gets another. It was like slow, methodical picks, but he did get all five. Yeah, no, that's the way you got to do it. You don't want to, like, a team like Vikings is not going to clump up together and allow for an ace to happen within the course of 10 seconds. They're, they're going to spread out. They're going to try to put good coverage all over the objective and just try to make sure that, you know, no one's going to come from any side. And so being able to get an ace on downfall against Vikings is one heck of an accomplishment. And uh, Smiles should be very proud of that. <laughs> well, we are waiting on two members of Vikings right now. And once again, we're going to throw to a quick intermission. We will see you on the other side once uh, the rounds uh, begin to start up again. See you there. And the push is hard on the objective right now. Too old has to respond as one is inside the corner. Killinger's punching in the code, trying to put captains up 2 nil, and he does. The incredibly aggressive push in the set.
But back into the action and the free fire paying off from no minute Scooby Doo grabbing two from Armin Getem early. The shots coming back almost tagging Nomi. Too old able to grab loyalty and the push is hard on the objective right now. Too old has to respond as one is inside the corner. Killinger's punching in the code, trying to put captains up to nil, and he does. The incredibly aggressive push in the center.
Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. We're back into the action here. Uh, Vikings, as some of you may know, I know that uh, Noxim explained his situation in chat, but for those of you who are watching on the YouTube afterward, Noxim had broke his controller somehow. I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, he wasn't able to reload. That explains why we saw him bring out a pistol and uh, kind of the weird things that we saw there, but... Uh, Definitely not great for Noctum situation. Spoils will be put out some C4, as you can see on screen. Um, over on that red truck side. Spoils is able to find Icy Woods right off the get-go. A very nice pick for Vikings. I'm just super impressed with this smoke screen that Woods43 did to get to his brothel position. He placed them standing upright on the road to cover his retreat, and it worked really well. Yeah. And it caused Viking. Vikings still took the shots, even though they couldn't see him, which gave away their spawn. Yeah. So now they have to deal with that, which I don't know if that's a, that big a deal because they can still rotate around the east side of the map. Regardless, a res did come out, so Vikings will no longer have that slight advantage that they had before. Vikings are getting a lot more aggressive than we saw beginners right now. I think we took them a couple more minutes to get to where the Vikings are right now. But I think the Vikings have the right idea, though, because that allows for them to kind of set up a strategy on the spot. or allows for more time to set up strategy rather than commuting. Well, Vikings also did spawn in the northeast, so they had a much shorter distance to get towards this objective. Yeah. Spoilty now... Pushing up to the White Tower at the end of the road. Definitely getting pretty close there. His first thing he has to worry about is the helicopter two-story. A smoke, a rocket of a smoke goes across the road. That should help cover some crosses if needed be, but definitely doesn't help spoilty out at all. I feel like that smoke was to stop Brothel from seeing spoilty, which if it was, that that's a very genius. impressive placement. That. Like that worked. We take a look, kind of that direction of line. Woods would clearly be able to see spoilty, but with the smoke there, it just definitely helps with that coverage. But spoilty's on a limited time to be in the position he's at now. I don't know the exact timer, how long smokes last, but if whatever that time is, it's, that's what he's got. Well, it's running out now. The smoke is gone. The smoke is gone, and now he's exposed. Woods isn't really checking that window anymore. I think he's just trying to hold an angle. Actually, take a look at what Woods is doing. I'm kind of intrigued. All right, so he is watching the doorway. He's not looking through the window. Well, now he is. Might be able to find Spoilty right now. No, he's Spoilty is just cleverly behind a wall as of right now. Ooh, and... uh. We got Nalik getting pretty close to uh, Neox and Smoils. I'm pretty sure they can hear him. Yeah, he's he's just being loud. He's just radioing it out. The C4 oh. will come out and get him. Oh. 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 GG, oh, wow. no re. <laughs> was he? He didn't even have his rifle on him anymore. What was Nalik doing? Where did his gun go? I am not... He's just running around uh, with his this pistol. This has been a really weird map. Maybe he broke his controller as well. Spoilty has a laser oh. that just scanned over him from Woods 43. I don't know if the shots are going to come out yet. Killinger's able to find Mantis. Our fellow caster. Our, one of our new recruits, actually. He's been doing very well uh, casting with Chatting Parrot all the time and he's actually kind of beginning to start casting on his own as well i'm pretty impressed by how quickly our casters have uh left the bird's nest per se spoilty still watching that uh north hq door he sees Ooh, he neox takes the shots neox, too yes. slow now neox is gonna peek the window take him down yeah, Neox is going to have that peeker's advantage using that cover the cover advantage that he has. He has a window and a wall there to be able to peek out, whereas 
Spoilty just had a fence, and it's just not going to work in your favor at all. Ooh, and uh, Corzy is going to be the replacement for Nullick. Woods 43 shooting from Brothel, giving his position away. Corzy now watching yeah. Woods 43's window. Yeah, he's going to be trying to peek it. One thing that Knight pointed out in a previous cast, the beginners, is that people like to point below the window in order to, so that, that way the red dot doesn't uh, affect their view as Corzy takes shots himself from the two story. He gives away his position to Icy Woods, but that's not going to be enough. He's not going to be able to run away in time to avoid Neox. Killing just able to find Uncle Sam, and that will be beginner's second point. On Did Killinger Dumbo. just get a blind fire for the last kill? I didn't see it. <laughs> I think he just put his gun up over the corner and shot down. Well, it's a very valid strategy, especially at close range. Just where you can get it. Of course, the blind fire did not work very well for uh, beginners um, on Subway, if we remember that correctly. Seems to be working pretty well now. I think. Uh, just kind of going through the an an analysis of this match, I feel like Vikings were going to spots that just weren't really well covered. They they were kind of walking into the middle of a firing line, and they weren't they weren't recognizing where the beginners' positions were. They were going straight through the middle of the defense. They were kind of getting caught up in awkward situations, and beginners were just able to capitalize on that. Yeah, they kind of iced themselves there with the uh, timeout that they had to take to get the controller fixed. And that momentum, I mean, losing momentum is probably one of the worst things in Onward, in my opinion. Yeah, we can be experts on, um, you know, the gameplay mechanics that, you know, the developers intentionally put into the game. But there's also that psychological... Um, that mental effect especially in a game like this because this is a pretty long game you can have games out there like rocket league where the round is five minutes long that's it game over after five minutes unless you're in overtime but here the round one round not even a map is six minutes long and that can weigh pretty heavily on the human mind there's there's a lot more to fight for basically and a lot more to lose Speaking of losing, let's see if the Vikings can not lose this round as they are down 2-0 on map number two. That was a perfect transition, man. <laughs> Spoilty Ooh. goes down to Killinger on the early pick. Well, I think he jinxed him. He's able to get those uh, callouts going. That might help the uh, that might help Vikings out be able to identify where these uh, rotations from the beginners are happening. We're gonna see a bit more of a beginner strategy kind of coming out here using up the entirety of the map, trying to send people even to other spots that weren't available. And just trying to be able to kind of cycle below the objective. They're gonna take their time as well. Looks like they kind of stopped midway down. The revival come out, we're back up to a 5v5. I will turn off the overlay. Yeah, Spoilty did get res. They gave up on watching that angle and now Mantis and Spoilty are creeping up towards Center Hotel. Corzy's on objective darkroom, and Nalik and Uncle Sam are both in the upper dumpster darkroom. I've never seen two people crammed in that room. Well, it's certainly possible. Uh, the question is whether or not they can just vibe together as roommates um, and be able to, you know, be able to share space, be able to delegate who gets the fridge at what time and who gets the TV, especially in a smaller... Apologies for that noise. I just pulled the plug out of my headset. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I don't know that. But I was wondering what was going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Did it sound like I died? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded like you were tumbling around in an avalanche. Yep, yep. The mic came out of the headset and just fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. We don't. We don't have techies to fix our problems for us. We do it all ourselves. As nice it would be to have like a techie in my house, uh, setting me up for my casts. That would be the life, man. Once again, beginners, uh, you know, all approaching from the same side. I don't. Yeah, they're they're clumping up. It's not what we expected. They had a great spawn to work off of, but uh, I think they're gonna opt. I think they really 
planned around having a quick spawn, and they're gonna, you know, force a quick spawn if they have to. Uh, Woods would, sees Woods pre-firing. Yeah. I think he saw the hotel. The hotel. You know, I wonder if it's just a meta change between losing a couple of players and gaining a new one. If they're no longer comfortable with doing that. Maybe they need to watch Neox. You know, you got you can't like let the baby bird fly. You gotta like you know. Well, no, knowing you Neox gotta walk before himself, you run, kind can, of thing. Neox is amazing at this game. He can definitely hold his own. Maybe maybe beginners are maybe they're conscious about other teams understanding how the beginners play and they want to change it up. We've seen this be done before. If you remember Global Cam beginners, they started the first round on Tanger playing the, probably the most aggressive match I have ever seen. They did not wait. They charged for the objective. It, it was anything but a beginner's play, and it was awesome to watch. But I, I think this is what we're seeing now. We're trying to we're seeing beginners try to put a wild card into their strategy and be able to change it up so teams can't really watch casts beforehand and uh, plan and see what they're going to do. You know, I also wonder if it has something to do with um, them not wanting, like them knowing that Vikings are, are are very good now and on their level and not wanting to give up easy 1v1 fights and they want to be able to have those refrags. Yeah. Well, another another factor that could be is that they do have like a five, you know, a spread out strategy planned, but they don't want to give it up until finals. So they're kind of just... They're just messing around. They're just trying to keep their place in in the league, and they're gonna fight it out in the finals because that's when the real you know deciding factor comes into play. So it takes a couple shots into the objective lower basement. Neox is able to blind Uncle fire Sam. and find Uncle Sam. That was some blind fire. I think this is why they put two in there. The second one is hiding and waiting and he's gonna be you know that 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 unknown bait and tackle right i think you're, I think you're looking for bait and switch bait and switch yeah i don't uh, fish bait so and, bait and tackle is definitely what you fish with. I'm, I'm like the most un-american uh american <laughs> out there so and we're casting an eu game so it really can't get any better than that right what's gonna take some shots into Here that they wall come, there all Four members There's, of beginners wow, look at just this rushing upper dumpster. Yeah, we got it being led by Dr. Killinger. Neox is going to try to opt around the side. Nalik is watching that angle. Killinger and Nalik are going to face off. They're going to trade. Killinger is going to get the better of that. Smalls is going to go for that res. Woods goes down Mantis to not. Oh, nice. A very nice Vikings now down to three members. Beginners, two. Killinger and Smoils are the last one up. They're going to try to get a res and bring that up to three. Now back into a 3v3 situation. Smokes are still out. Mantis is now peeking around a wall. He might be able to get himself another two if Killinger and Smoils work this way. He pops out. Killinger dodges out of the way. Mantis is able to find Icy Wood. Spoils is able to find Killinger. But now Smoils is going to go along the wall there. Now, uh, woo. Lost the Spoils name there. Oh, between yeah. multiple He's... Vikings. A nade comes, comes out. And over oh, right it's in a good position. spot. <laughs> but... Oh, he gets him with the Makarov. Wow. Oh, my God. That's a it's flex. It's like rubbing, him, rubbing, you know, yeah. Oh, Insult my God. Insult to injury. In a Makarov kill. Uh, wow. This is, this is, this, I, I feel like I'm watching what what's it, the harlem globetrotters right now we're seeing some really crazy stuff coming out here <laughs> we're not seeing we're not seeing strategy so much as like skill but it's amazing i was definitely not expecting this at all during this match <laughs> the, the question is was the makarov even planned a lot of players will just take the makarov as their secondary because they never use secondaries no, I think he was out of ammo. He'd done a lot of shooting. Yeah. He took down at least three. Just didn't have the time to reload. He wanted to capitalize on the opportunity. And uh, what did he have on him? A total meme gun. And uh, it, my goodness, he was able to just finish it off that way. And Vikings will get their first point on the boards with a Makarov kill. I, I really don't know how any other way to express that. He killed the beginners with a Makarov. <laughs> 
it's really it's really like the best gun to kill smoils with right it is I mean, it, 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 you're gonna kill smoils meme. fight memes with memes oh yeah i think smoils will be drawing this up in uh only thing that could have made it better would be an rpg uh i don't know i feel like the rpg is a little easier to do it with whereas the makarov it's like it takes skill but also a sense of humor you know it's like you're you're doing this to like be able to say, "Hey, I killed you with a Makarov," because that's hard to do. Whereas with the RPG, it's like, "Hey, you blew up." You, you get what I'm saying? Um, it's like, I, I I get you. The noob tube is what we should call it. <laughs> I think that I think that popping uh, into the next round. Yeah, we are. Mirrored spawns from the Vikings. Will they peek early and try and pick someone off? It looks like beginners are putting smoke out to cover that. I see Woods running with the smoke towards white building. Now we're going to see a very similar strategy out from, or actually we're going to see more of a spread coming out from uh, Vikings rather than the clump up that was beginners. The ball of death. I see Mantis use the full extent of the map as well. Look how far out he is. All the way on the edge. Wow. It's amazing how much of like wouldn't it be amazing if you can go out to all the way out to those mountains in the background and be able to play downfall that way, just completely circumnavigating everything and laying out ambushes and valleys, just like how it would be in like Afghanistan or what not have you. Well, he's gonna take what you're looking for is abandoned and no one wants to play it with me. I do. I'll play it with you. Maybe, maybe Nolik we'll get, like, putting shots out from North Hotel onto, I don't even know what he's shooting at. Center Hotel now. Ah, uh, yeah. He's, he, I think he was just pre-firing. He wasn't really looking at uh, anybody in, spe in specific. I think he got shot at, and he was returning fire. He just didn't have the right location in his mind. That is no matter. We are in round four. Where? Okay, I see one at the tank, one in the South Hills, one behind Marsoc Twins, one pushing up towards APC, and the last Viking is back at the crater. So they're all still on the east side of the map. Yeah, we're, we are seeing the spread, though. And it's pretty Spoiled, spread he's pre-firing that center hotel, but no one is there. Yeah. I think I think they are anticipating their strategy to be around manage in this center hotel, but that's just not happening. Beginners are holding a tighter objective this time with a bit of a south bias, and that's exactly where the vikings are going it's almost like beginners knew exactly what the plan was shots going out there as spoiled he tries to go for a long range pick onto the objective building won't be able to find any purchase yeah woods was in there he's probably uh trying to harass spoiled if not try to go for that pick but now he knows that it's just suicide to peek that window because Spoilty's just going to keep laying fire down. He has that M2409. He has the time and availability to just keep shooting at that window. Something to happen. Bit of fire going I see Woods putting shots out from the white building now. Uncle Sam and Corzy pushing up. And if you take a look at camera four, there is a C4 Ooh, ready for them and wow. waiting. And that placement is in a great spot for people trying to go up the hill to see if they can get a pick into the white building without actually entering it. I'm not sure if it's in a spot where, or if it has the range to be able to take down Uncle Sam and Corzy if they hug that ridge. Yeah, they detonated a little too early, so that won't happen. Like the shots going off on the side there as Nalak still tries to trade fire with members on objective another nade going out 
I don't know if I feel like they know that there's two people in this white building. You can, especially with smoils and woods, they have two very different accents. Oh, another C. Oh no, they're harassing. That is a mag. Oh no, it was a clacker. They're just trying to harass the Vikings by throwing stuff at them. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards becoming extremely barbaric. I do that with the uh, the Molotov lighter. So it kind of works. I think works. if you threw a tablet at him, it might confuse him. <laughs> Thanks. Looks enough like a, a C4, one. you know? You know, I lost the round, but I got a free tablet out of it, so not bad. Uncle Sam's going to try to make a push up. No Neox is able to find Nalik. Now Mantis is going to support this white tower push. Uncle Sam's able to find Uncle Sam woods. finds one. And he's on the outside of the building. Smoils comes around. Uncle Sam and finds Smoils. another one. He just needs to go and confirm his stuff and he'd be all set. That is an amazing pick to have. An amazing location as well. Uncle Sam gets those one confirm in. You think he the does bodies are right on top of each other. I don't know if he can confirm the second one. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's in an awkward position. So Woods will be giving out crappy call outs because he's not in a great space, but Woods 43 is able to find Mantis. Up on the back side, I believe. Not really Sam sure Sam pushing up now, now out of the uh, east uh, approach. Supported by Corzy, but he gets taken down by Woods 43 as well. But now he's running onto objective. Killinger is waiting for this Uncle to happen. Sam Uncle Sam is inside. Right past him. Will he be able to get this code in in time? The rushes are happening onto objective. He's prioritizing trying oh, to fight it out, but the trade happens and beginners will go up another point. Killinger just barely getting there, catching the cross. I mean, I, I, you know, Uncle Sam looked at him, and I, I feel like he saw him, and he just opted to go for the basement. But Killinger getting there just in time. Yeah. The the uh, the gunfight there was just not in the optimal position. The pressure was there, and uh, he was not able to set up in time to be able to. Try to defend the uplink as Marsock, if I can even say that that's a defense, but trying to defend his little little basement room. Maybe if he had read the code ahead of time and had some of those fast fingers like some of the players we know, maybe he could have gotten it in. Yeah, but not everyone's really good on the tablet. There are some some players are really good at jamming on the tablet, and part of me wants to say that it's like a skill at birth, but. It's probably not. They just spend a lot of time, but I am just not one of those. And I don't even know if I can even spend the time to be like one of those people who can get, you know, three or two second cap times in. It definitely helps. I'm pretty out. sure when I get to the objective, my hands are shaking so much I can't get it in that oh, fast. Same dude. It's like, oh, did I just type in a seven instead of an eight? What the heck? And you can't even delete it. You have to start all over again. <laughs> There's no backspace. No backspace. It's. The Onward is not a forgiving game whatsoever. Well, the current scoreline is 5-3 to three right now. Vikings have already taken map 1. Beginners are on their way to take map 2, but have to do one more round here. But that round is beginning, and we're going to drop right on into that. We have a new objective. It's the upper dumpster. So, Ooh. you know, totally different yeah, than the very lower different. dumpster. Very, very different. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Vikings nothing, are spawning. The spawn is like different. The spawn could get you killed. You spawn in the valley. Oh, yeah. And beginners spawning behind the North Hotel might be able to get some picks if Vikings just rush straight towards it. Here they go up to the top floor. There are definitely going to be some kills here. There are the lasers. Shots ringing out. Corsi goes down to Icy Woods. Able to find one, yeah, an amazing pick to start off with. Definitely the way you want to start off if you're beginners trying to claw your way back in Forest Map 3. All of the Vikings are now away from the objective. That's not where you want to be with beginners. They're going to smoke it out when they realize that no one is directly on, aside from Corzy, who can't do anything. And being able to hold that North Hotel as well as just Overwatch and harassing 
the Vikings is just such a crucial spot because now they can't rotate onto the objective without putting themselves in mortal danger. It's almost like Vikings are going to have to rush for the objective right when beginners are because beginners will use smoke and try to push up. Where are they? Oh, they're moving towards the east. There we go. They're moving towards Crater now. So they left one. Smoil is still on North Hotel. And Woods 43 pushing west down into the village. Then you got the three, Killinger, Neox, and Icy. Icy, which is pre-firing the Marsoc twins. Looks like one of the Vikings is actually going to try to rotate. It's spoiled. He's going to try to hold up the beginners here, but one man against three beginners. That is, the math just don't add up there. Neox is putting shots out onto the ridge, trying to cover Icy Woods as he makes his rotation. Some very coordinated teamwork here. But we'll see if Icy Woods can get around the side here. I'm gonna quickly throw this in here. If you haven't known already, we have sponsors. It's ProTube VR and VR Cover. They give goodies to our champions. Definitely check out their websites, buy their stuff. I love it. They probably some of the best VR accessories you can get on the market for shooters or Beat Saber or just in general. Take a quick gander over and see what's going on on the west side. The Lone Ranger is Woods 43. Kind of beginning. Make his way up to the objective right now. He's in a good place to harass, but I see what's able to find Mantis. I would like to point out that if we go back to camera four, there is another C4 there in the valley. In like, the apparently exact that's a same thing. Spot. I, I, yeah, I've, you know, never. There's also one in the white building. Apparently, Uncle Sam's a little concerned for his safety, so we put one on the door in white yeah, building. So those are your two C4s. Got that down. Dr. Challenger is able to find or get the confirm on Mantis. Loyalty in a very tough, very tough position now. Yeah. He doesn't Four really have that cover. Beginners coming up on him. He's <laughs> and is not where you want to be. He hears Woods. Woods is right around the corner. And I don't think Woods is ready for it. No, he's not. He's gonna be able to get one. It's just a down. He's gonna go for that confirm nade. The other members are coming around here. He gets a trade. But he's, it's a trade. He's not going to merge victorious out of that. Killinger won't be able to res anybody, though. So spoiled, he did his job. Now we're into a 2v2 situation. Killinger and Smoils versus Uncle Sam and, and Nolik. Nolik. Neither of whom are on the objective. But luckily, they're in a place where beginners are going to opt to try to make their approach from. The C4s might actually come into play. Yeah, they might. Probably I can't not. believe it. I cannot... Just, They're just, on the, just to the, reiterate, the C4s are on the opposite side of the map from spawn, and they are actually going to come into play. Just to reiterate, <laughs> the C4s are on this mountain here, and they are on and the doorway, here, right? Yeah, five has the other one. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Yeah. It's very really, uh, that that one on five is actually really good. It blends in with the wall so nicely. Well, and you're never going to check that for yeah, a C4 as you rush this building. I think Nala knows I can't believe exactly. that didn't catch either of them. Yeah, one went off there. Killinger's going to throw some smoke there. He's definitely not going to be able to see that C4 if he rushes on in there. He rushes on in. The C4 does go off. Uncle Sam's able to get one. Goes for the second one. Smoils is going to merge victorious there. Now it's just Smoils versus Nalik. An off-objective brawl might emerge here for the White Tower. 40 seconds left. Smoils has to go for it. Smoils is... I don't know. Uh, the beep's about to go off in his know. headset. What, what do you do at this point? You're definitely expecting the guy to be on the objective, well, the not where Nalik is. The beeps have just He's gonna gone off. He's going to have to make the run. And Nalik's going to have an easy shot in the back. I mean... Yeah, this is exactly what Vikings need. Oh, Nalik's not paying it. Uh, look a little bit more. Oh, Nalik sees it now. He's just 
trying to line it up. He's able to get it, and Smoils will be shut down from a capping opportunity. He had me a little concerned there for a second. A little bit. Yeah, David, he's, he's definitely trying to line up that headshot. He's like, ah, don't want to miss this. It's a moving target, man. Just shut it down. They're on match point. Yeah, the, running the timer out was definitely not what the, the uh, beginners had in mind. And I don't think Spoils he wanted to do that either. He only had one choice, and that was to run to objective, hope he could get that cap. But I don't think he realized he was in a 1v1. I'm not sure either team had an accurate kill count. I think they were all a couple off. Those those trades... Oops. Went to the wrong side. Those trades um, will definitely mess with kill counts on both sides because neither side will be able to you know, let the other let their team know that they killed someone Smoils probably thought he was in a like a 2v1 situation well and you also don't expect the last member standing to not be on, on exact, objective yeah. you know I mean at least in one of the buildings uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Nalik heard all the screams of his teammates as they Slowly got murdered by uh, Smoils there and just wanted to seek vengeance. And he eventually he did. It worked. And uh, well, Viking got a point. If, if beginners had approached from anywhere except the valley, it, they would have probably got the cap. Yeah. It definitely would have worked in their favor a lot better if they were to realize that th their own offense oh, was able oh, to prevent people from getting God, on. My God, that is the worst smoke in the world. Camera three. It's not absolutely useless. And, <laughs> yeah, Neox is going to fix that. <laughs> it didn't even smoke. It just kind of sputtered. They do block the cross. Yeah. It's like Viking is not getting those early picks and beginners able to get onto the objective. Their they're, they're on objective defense is definitely a lot better than the Vikings, but Nalik's able to find Woods 43 very decisively. Beginners will go down one, not resible. In the first 30 seconds, nonetheless, that's pretty impressive. And I'm just taking a look at how the defense is set up here. We do have two people on the objective, none in the east or in the west uh, two story to help assist that. But the rest of the beginner's defense is going to be set up along the Marsog Towers. They're kind of taking a couple shots from Vikings. I see what's oh, able to find wow. Mantis with a PKM. PKMs are just sniper rifles, but they work on a different concept. If you throw enough bullets, one will be accurate. He didn't even call that as a kill. I'm pretty sure he was just pre-firing that yeah. and caught someone's head. Definitely worked out really well. Now we're into a 4v4 situation. After Vikings had a bit of a lead to start off with. Now, just a reminder, Vikings did take map one. So even if beginners win here, we go on to the third map as a decider. Yeah, I left the overlay on again, but we've resolved that before anything major happens. Just two headshots. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing much, major. Nothing much. Icy Wood anyway. sees somebody crossing, calls him out. He's able to identify where this push is coming from. It looks like Vikings are kind of readjusting themselves to do more of a westerly push rather than an easterly. Crossing on the east side is a little bit, or pushing on the east side rather, is a little bit harder because there's not too much cover that you can work with, whereas the west side has plenty of buildings for you to kind of hide up in and try to get picks before moving on or, you know, being able to run past to get to cover. Now it returns fire. He's more just pre-firing rather than returning fire, but I, I really don't think he has an idea where this defense is as of just yet, but we are approaching the halfway mark now. He's got to start formulating, or the Vikings as a whole, I've got to start formulating where this defense is laid out. Be able to try to work off that. Uncle Sam and Crozier are pushing up on the east side now. And it looks like beginners actually gave up that ridge defense and have moved. It looks like they had a timed defense. So they're now they're moving to watch the objective. 
Yeah, they started moving down at the halfway mark, which we've just passed. I think they, I think they understand that uh, Vikings are going to try to push their attack maybe a little bit earlier than they do, but it's definitely good to be down, back down at the objective by the two-minute mark because that's where we usually see these EU teams begin to press the attack or at least pressure the objective. Nalik's going to try to pre-fire, but he's going to be... Smoils finds Nalik. Smoils, yeah. Very good long-range shot coming out of him. Now the rest of the Vikings are coming through, or at least two of them are coming through the valley. There is one beginner in Marsog Tower. He's in the dark room, so he's not in an ideal position to be able to shut down this... He shut down this Vikings flank, but... Only one short rotation away from total havoc for Vikings. He definitely heard Uncle Sam. I don't know if he heard Crozy. I think he's just trying to hold an angle, see if uh, Vikings are going to come through the middle of the Marsoc Towers. Shots to the White Tower. That is a right. That is a place where people are. But Spoils, he's gonna have other ideas about Spoils' rotation there, as he's able to pick that up. Beginners and Vikings down, both three men strong. One minute. One minute gets called out by Spoilty, and he's exactly Ooh, right. Icy Woods gets Crozy with a nade, but he Uncle goes down. Sam's able to find Icy Woods, but Crozy nades himself. Now Vikings are too strong, but beginners are as well. I don't think these matches are get any tighter. We're down to 50 seconds now. Time is running out. Uncle Sam is making his way down the hill to the objective. It's a very risky push, but right now beginners are focused more on holding their angles and trying to stay close. Spoils, he's able to find Neox. This opens up the objective so much. Killinger has to rotate right now. He's able to find Spoilty just in time. But now... Uncle Sam's going to try to go for it as well. Killinger's already in a great spot to be able to try to take on Uncle Sam. I don't think I think, I don't think Killinger's kill count's on point either, but no matter. Uncle Sam's going to catch out Killinger from behind, and now Beginners and Vikings are both up, both up to three points. Wow. I don't, I don't know. I think Killinger was concerned. I, I think you're right. I don't think he knew how many were left because he had just been shot at from the valley. And he opted to go out the same door and go around, I think, because in his head, he was thinking, okay, someone's cap. Vikings are, you know, trying to be sneaky and cap while one of them's over here shooting at me. Yeah, um, being able to identify how many people are up left and kind of prioritizing what you want to do next. I don't think it was the right move for Killinger to try to rotate back to where he was. The location, the dark, the dark room that he was at was perfect to be able to defend this. As a matter of fact, he had the advantage because Corzy would have had to come to him, but his rotation just made it really easy for Corzy. Now, this next, this next round is going to decide if A, Vikings can take it on map two, or B, if beginners can force map three. What do you think that map three is going to be? Ooh, I would love to see some Bizarre. Personally. Or, or some Suburbia. You could use a little bit of Suburbia after some downfall. You could use some Cargo. I mean, yeah, yeah, not cargo bad. too. Yeah. I think, I think Suburbia, though, will be more facilitating to the play style, though. You can... Car cargo is a bit of a, a cesspool when it comes to strategy. It's, it's so close that... All strategy flies out the window in the first two minutes of the round and uh, becomes more of a player skill. But teams like these Vikings and beginners, they strategize pretty hard. Interesting to see how the strategies play out like on maps like Suburbia. Personally, I would, I'm not saying I wouldn't be down for cargo, though. I love cargo. Map decider round going on right now. We are on round seven. As beginners 
press against the Vikings. They're going to offer a more beginner-like tactic, I think. <laughs> not not like beginner-like in that sense, but beginners-like. You know, we've total seen noob before. tactics. Total That's noobs. What we're total noobs. Total yep, noob yep, tactics. Noobs. They, beginners have only played one match ever. Yeah, take a look at the luck. overhead, man. They're spreading out along that eastern ridge yeah. and just waiting for those kill shots. And Vikings, on the other hand, I think they've doubled down on the objective like extra hard. With probably two or three people inside the objective building. We do have the helicopter two story. This one, one of my favorite objectives on this map. Definitely brings the intensity. It, there's effectively like two major capping spots that you have to guard. And it takes up so much manpower since there's no place to cover. Well, and what's worse is that if you lose your guy guarding, like, say, the downstairs and your guy's in dark room, you having to rotate around the building, that's too much time. Caps already happen. Yeah, we've got spoilty down in the basement. Um, taking a look at the... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the wrong building. Yeah, it's the wrong building. <laughs> Corzy in the basement and Nalik upstairs. Yeah. Nobody in the dark room on the east side, but spoilty watching from the lower truck shots starting to ring out now just pre-fire though they're definitely not aiming toward any major spots where uh vikings are holding out we got mantis down on the west side it's a pretty good coverage and does kind of facilitate rotations it just really relies on or, or um on spoil team mantis and uh uncle sam not dying and being able to hold their angles properly into using Corzy and Nalik as kind of like insurance. Yes, not dying is a key factor in this game. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? <laughs> Those are the pro level strats. Pro level Don't strat. die. I've been trying to alu Akbar on the C4 this entire time. Killings are pushing up towards Spoilty's building now. I think I think the beginners are anticipating a much more spread out defense than uh, what Vikings are giving them. Judging by how they're pre-firing and what buildings they are anticipating defenders to be in. Already gone past the halfway mark. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in the round. The round to decide if Vikings can emerge victorious over the beginners in two maps. Or if beginners are going to force map three. The pressure is on the reigning champions. I believe it'll sh shut down any rebellions that can challenge their rule. Shots from Neox as he rushes up to the lower dumpster building and is now approaching... Trying to draw attention, I think, from that south side. Yeah, he's gone. Where is he? Hmm. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah, so he's at the middle hotel right now. Definitely causing some noise. I think he's trying to be a distraction for the Vikings. Make Be the one that gets called out and everyone's like, oh, he's over there. And then they're all looking that way and then... uh. Lo and behold, the actual beginner's offense comes from the side like it is right now. Now, Woods 43 rushing up on Uncle Sam's building. Ooh. And Uncle Sam's Looking. building is probably like one of the textbook defending spots, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to at least get a pick on Uncle Sam and be able to cause some havoc there, but he's already throwing smokes out. Wondering what the mentality here is. He's trying. He's trying really hard to get those plays correctly. C4 goes down. I see Woods with a C4. Wow. Now he's pinched. Killinger. And Woods 43. No, Uncle Sam finds Woods 43. Yeah. The beginners are kind of beginning to flake off here. This is not what they needed. Killinger's going to try to make a run on Spoilty as well, but they're going to trade. Okay. They're both down, so they're probably going to have a conversation, something to tune in later. Now, 
Smoils is trying to make his way up out in the open. Uncle Sam has got him covered, but uh, Neox is working his way down in the basement. Mantis is able to shut that by down. Mantis from the yeah. North Watch, and now it's all up to Smoils again. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a Vikings around. And Uncle game. Sam just has to shoot Smoils. He's able to do that. Vikings win the round and the game against beginners. Wow. It's absolutely incredible. I do believe if we uh, check out the connoisseurs page that uh, beginners had the uh, the advantage here when people are thinking who would win. But did they? I think beginners have been a staple of this league when it comes to you know top tier EU gameplay for a very long time now. Take a look and see if you're right. They had one more. Oh, than wow. Vikings. It was a lot closer than what I 15 to 16. Wow. Well, what an upset. <laughs> <laughs> 16 people are wrong. Yep. And we're going to hop into map number three, which is going to be suburbia. Ooh. Who was right? <laughs> you, you were right. Yep. You were right. I see all. But this is going to be a great map for uh, seeing like how very strategic teams like to play on close range maps. I think Suburbia lends itself to that strategy because it kind of breaks down a map into you know the four lanes that we talk about all the time in both gameplay and in casting and being able to kind of like choose like, oh, okay, we're going to push both lanes two and four and we can rotate around if need to be or let's go around lane one, attack the objective that's on lane four you know try to be a flank it lends itself to that more than cargo does where cargo is very linear oh and we're gonna start off with my favorite objective of all time it's gonna be middle house <laughs> of all time of all time yeah that's that's saying a lot well i love this one it brings the action um it's got a huge it's one of the few objectives left that has like one of those iconic like season four choke points that we've talked about before and it becomes a massive you know puzzle for marsoc to be able to attack and the solutions that we see teams come up with these days to be able to get up and potentially get on objective maybe lure the enemy out and prevent or like to to force caps is very amazing from a caster perspective as well as a player perspective it is just incredibly fun <laughs> Well, now that Vikings have won the series, I wonder if we're going to see some more craziness happen and they're going to, you know, rush it. Yeah. Five man rush into there. I don't think I've seen a good five man rush in a little while. It's definitely been a minute. SMC did one a while back. I think like season five. That was pretty spectacular. They did it on Demon, I think. We were just talking about that the other night, actually. <laughs> it was on cast, and I was I remember when I first saw it, I was pretty shocked to see something like that happen, but who knows? Maybe uh, maybe Vikings will emulate uh, your team trip. All right, Vikings are spawning. No one's taking the shield, so we'll see. Very interesting. This is kind of an objective that extremely lends itself to the shield, being able to kind of peek where enemy layout is we're gonna see spoilty move up already he's pre-firing all the angles he's not getting as aggressive as he can be in positioning but he's definitely putting the fire down Brad coming out from behind the house going over not catching anybody yeah kind of airbursted a little bit too early it's definitely been a prime placement though the beginner's defense here. Five strong in the house. Woods upstairs. Smalls downstairs. Killinger downstairs. I see Woods downstairs. And Neox upstairs. I think it's just I think, everywhere. I think Vikings are waiting for Corzy to start getting picks on the lower level. And what's really interesting about the beginner's defense as well is that they actually kind of bias toward the lower level. They have three people downstairs, two people up. 
being able to like prevent people from even getting inside the house for too long, you know, they take one down, easy flank. Probably the easiest flank you could possibly have in any of the maps. There's spoilty tries to pre-fire through walls. If this was actual drywall, I'm pretty sure this would be a much harder map to defend because they would just lay down fire into the house. But luckily, whoever contracted these houses are uh, making their drywall bulletproof. Ah, yes, that uh, Kevlar reinforced drywall. Yeah, uh, I I would not want to be the uh, the guys who are installing that drywall as it is sucks. Especially in those uh, large sheets. Vikings are going to have to waste a lot of time because they've got to check everywhere else that a defender could be. They've got to check the spawn house. They've got to check behind the tank. They've got to check everywhere that you could think of well, they're all before inside. they make this approach into the house. Yeah. Dillinger's able to find Uncle Sam. He's on the outside. He's going to try to go for the second one. That's Corzy, but he's not able to find that. I don't think he's even able to see it, but it could have definitely happened there. More shots going out as refiring happens. Alex in a great spot to be able to kind of reduce rotations coming out of uh, beginners as he's looking through that window. As Mantis begins to make his way on in as well. Oh, and Nalik's Nalik, able to... it's a... Wow! He downed himself, but he got it to airburst and take down two. Very nice. I wasn't able to catch it on camera, but man. That's a good... That's a good airburst on the roof. And this is... Still just trying to hold this angle here, prevent people from rotating around. He's got Icy Woods. He's literally on the other side of that wall there. Rotates away. Icy Woods hears that. He tosses a nade out. He's good. He doesn't act on it. No. Uh, no, he still doesn't. Of course, he's able to find Killinger on the front yard. Is that the tank? He shot through the tank, but Smoils will do the exact same thing in response. And... Bring it down to a 2v3. Spoil I see v Woods finds Mantis, but Spoilty refrags him. Yeah, and now we're into a 2v1. It's up to Spoilty now. He's done work before. He's able to do it again. He's able to find Smoils, and now we're in a Neox versus Spoilty situation. Oh, shit. <laughs> he now realizes that he's the last one up. <laughs> the uh, oh crap moment coming out as he looked at the tablet. I think he's injured as well. He's not moving quick. Oh no, he's just crouched. I don't know if the bullets in Neox's gun render for me or not, but I'm only seeing two bullets in his gun. Ooh. Uh, take a look at that. Sorry. He's using that G36. Four, four bullets in his gun. I'm seeing four. <laughs> the rendering. Are you just like I trying feel to like phase through it? At this point. Are you just trying to phase through his gun? <laughs> Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. I thought the G36 had a transparent mag, though. I thought it did, too. It Lies. does, in-game, but in -game, I didn't know if it worked. I don't know how it works for casters, but... Spoilty... It's right there at the backside. Looks like he's gonna smoke it out there to try to, uh... Force rotations from Neox, or try to force him to move into a different... position. His smoke isn't as great as it was before. Oh, he's going to try to like, go around peeking. We're going to bring around the rosy habits here through the smoke. More smoke, I do believe, coming out. Oh! The C4! Smoils his C4! Gets him with the... Wow! Wow, the name what a triggered play. it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Wow! A C4 Where? doesn't typically work that close, but if it's triggered by a, a grenade, it can work. Or a Molotov The chain as well. reaction. The grenade was on the top floor. The C4 had to have been, like, between the stairs and the 
the banister. I don't know where it was, but it had to have been within range of the sea f or of the frag, and then that in in turn went down to the first floor and got spoiled. That's that's some high level strategy right there. That's amazing. <laughs> Beginners take the first point on map three. Round has already been decided. Vikings will emerge victorious pretty decisively nonetheless. Current scoreline is four to eight. Yeah, these matches have been really close though. I, we can't let beginners like go down like that though. Well, we're moving on to the next one. We're gonna see Beginners spawning on the opposite side, uh, the northeast yeah. corner. Hanging out with the defense right now as they get set up, trying to avoid getting pre-fired. See if Vikings set up any little, cute little booby traps. Not seeing anything major right now. Smol is able to find spoilty right off the bat. Vikings now down to four defenders right off the get-go. Bit of a peaking action is about to happen here from Smoils and Mantis. I think Mantis is, ooh, the nade comes out. It's going to go far. I won't be able to find Smoils. Oh, a second one goes off. It was closer, but still is not able to find purchase. Wow, the trading of nades in the start. Giving them to the people who are definitely much better at throwing. Smoils going to get shot in the back oh, here from Mantis. A trade. And a trade. Wow, Smoils got his gun up in time. Now the current manage report is that Vikings have three strong and beginners have four. This is definitely something for beginners to work off of. Woods is memorizing that code. Neox still standing on the playground, on the slide, just waiting. He just really oh. wants to play on the slide, man. Like, we get it, it's a league game, but still, you gotta have fun. Corzy is the uh, the defender that they need to watch out for on the south side of Spawn House. Yeah, he's able to kind of shut down a couple lanes there just from being there. And it's a really hard spot to pick out as well. Right, Woods 43 is going to go check it. Let's see. See the laser kind of down on him. I don't think Corzy's looking that way just yet. And Woods is more focused on the inside of the house. And... Not Corzy's looking at it. I uh. Woods just disabled the C4. Very nicely done. Now he's crouched probably a little. There's still a availability for Corzy to look and be able to see Woods, but he's just holding an angle into the into the doorway of the house. Oh, I think he just saw Woods. I don't think he did. No, he didn't. I can't believe it. Wow, oh, the laser just went that right over him. was such an easy kill the whole time. Wow. Now Woods is going to start focusing on making his way on in. I think he's going to prime a nade. Oh, no. He's just going to run right on in. He's tossing it up the stairs. He gets caught out by Uncle Sam. Wow. That's going to be a trade. Woods will still be able to get rezzed. He's able to call out where the defenders are. Nalak might try to go for that confirm, but that's going to be a little risky. The safety of the upstairs is... Not available to try to go for that pick. Hillinger, I think, is going to try to go for that uh, res. It will be successful. Now it is up to Nalik and the and Corzy to be able to do it. Killinger is able to shut it down on objective. He is on objective. Corzy comes He's running in. Coming Killinger's in. Got Killinger's got out. tablet on. Can he be able to cap in three seconds? Corzy's got to be able to assess the situation properly. But the kill does come out. And beginners will not be able to cap. Beginners are up two points now on the last map. Could have been three, but luckily, of course, he had the right idea. Just run an objective, force the kill. Even though they could have just gone for, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird situation there. He definitely, uh, he wasn't focusing on the person behind him. So even if they did I definitely did think let him Woods live, made the right call shooting him, though. Yeah, I do think so, too. It's, he could have had a chain re reaction effect where... Um, 
being able to shoot one person, two people as they're both focusing on trying to let the cap happen and then relying on that third person who's behind there, it's a little risky. So just going for that single point definitely works out in the end. It's kind of more the beginner's thing to do. Probably not the Vikings thing. They'll just go for the cap as they've shown before on Subway, which if I can reiterate, was an amazing cap. It was all right. <laughs> it was ballsy, I'll tell you that. Right under enemy fire and everything, I think. That's definitely one of my personal highlights that I've seen on cast. We will have an objective change now that we've played this one twice. We're going to move over to the tank objective now. Definitely another favorite of mine. It does allow for such freedom of capping. It's really hard to defend, but the challenge of defending this one is actually kind of what makes it really enticing. Both teams are now out of the spawn jail. They're way up. Spoilty's going to lead the charge. Looks like beginners are going to opt for three people in the middle house. Spoilty's going to immediately get some contacts right here. He's able to find one. He's able to find two. Neox is on the other side there. He's... Oh, Spoilty's getting suppressed. He will be caught out by Icy Woods. The confirm will probably go up. Mantis is actually going to go for that res. It's very risky, but... That's going to get shut down immediately. Neox is able to find a double as he's able to find Mantis as well. Now, the beginners... The panic call out's coming out from Spoilty in yeah. center out. Yeah. Nalik is... Vikings getting really aggressive here. Neox finds Nalik at the APC. Yeah. Uncle Sam puts some smokes out. Corzy now crossing the street. He's going to get caught up Corzy by Neox. Down, Uncle Sam. Ooh. This push has not gone too well, but Uncle Sam is so close to the objective, he can try to work with it, but both sides of it are being covered. If he can be able to manipulate these smokes, he might be able to do something, but getting kills, getting three beginners down when you're only one man is hard to do, but he's already part of the way there. He's able to find Icy Woods. Icy Woods is only down. He's able to call out his position. He will be doing that, and Smoils will be able to get that refrag and get beginners a third point. Maybe the beginners just needed two maps to warm up. Yeah. Maybe they need two more maps. Best of five, the way the finals are done. Yeah. Definitely uh, definitely an endurance challenge when we do get to the finals. I think a lot of esports do that where they have an extra long match for the, uh, the finals. Rocket League does that as well. I mean, I can say I've played five maps in a row and it's really not that bad. But when you're talking about the finals, you're playing against these high tier teams. The amount of like adrenaline pumping through your system is so much different. Five comp lobbies, no big deal. The five finals lobbies, big deal. <laughs> you're gonna crash so hard after finals, guys. <laughs> yeah, being able to uh... And then mitigate the, or to be able to con to be able to control the human uh, the human aspect of the game is definitely something we see a bit more in VR than in uh, than in say like CS:GO or it's a pancake game because there's more of a human element to it, being able to control your breathing, being able to hold steady hands, being able to shoot properly. It's all huge factors in this game that you kind of learn early on. We don't really cover too much in league play because generally people have it all down, but when you get down into like endurance games like finals, it's uh, it's definitely a factor. But it looks like that we're gonna be hopping into this fourth round here soon. Beginners looking to take a map of their own, four and zero. Going Vikings. Attacking the tank court or tank objective. Yeah, that's gonna be a, definitely be a really good one to watch. You call? Are you calling a beginner's uh, Marsoc win here? Is that what you're saying? Mm, I don't want to bias myself just yet. <laughs> I do think beginners can do it. They've been really strong on this map so far, and I think they're riding that momentum finally that they've finally built up over two maps. Having that first map 4-0 is definitely not good for their mind and their soul, but, you know, they're... 
they're probably one of the more professional teams we've seen out there. They've been to ESL. They've been to live events. They know how it works. They're as eSport as it gets in Onward. Initial shots going out there. Spoilty and Corzy will take up the middle house. We've got Mantis watching lane two behind a jersey barrier. The other two are going to be behind the objective, or actually one on burning as well. We will have some company coming up to him as well as Neox goes to the slide and Icy Woods takes a bush. Bit of a slow up on the beginner side as they try to do their methodical thing. Take half the map, wait for the picks, and then push in in the final minute. of a slow up here we're not seeing too many aggressive moves coming out there yet beginners just want to control the situation vikings want to be able to control their own situation maybe get a point on the board here so they're not taking any major risks just yet the c4 goes off from mm. nalik yes and now no, yeah lobs the c4 does not find anybody then throws a frag also not finding anybody Bit of a counter frag coming frag out here. Coming Might be able to find no, like it's close enough, and no, it will not be able to. It's just outside of the range. Gonna try to pre-fire into those bushes there, maybe try to help his team out, prevent rotations happening. But I think Neox knows very well where this defender is at, and he's gonna try to work his way around. Also trying to pre-fire onto the middle house here. We've already used up two minutes of our time on Suburbia, which is pretty much an accomplishment. We, use, we usually see two-minute rounds. All right, Woods 43 pushing into the house now. Going to do his standard thing. He's get caught out by Spoilty with a C4. Mantis is able to find Smoils as well. Now... Beginners are down two members. Vikings are looking pretty good to be able to force around five. But that can all change here as we've seen many times before. Both is able to get that revive. Vikings back up to five strong here. Beginners are three strong. This objective does lend itself to odd man caps. Being able to kind of sneak your way in. You're able to navigate the rough waters of a Volk defense properly. Kind of hopping over to the beginner side. Killinger makes his entrance into the middle house. It's currently being defended by Corzy, they trade. Now it's Alec up to... just putting shots out from the burning. Yeah. He's on his last mag at this point. Yeah, Neox and Woods are the last remaining beginners up here trying to... Get round four here and be able to 4-0 and oh, Vikings. Try to recover that MMR if they can. They've already done a good job so far. Yeah, I think Nalik's been going through ammo like mad. He's just trying to make sure that be he's, his presence is very known and... Maybe he's trying to slow up the beginners, but now the beginners are so dwindled down it becomes really hard. Spoilty has taken a spot back. Neox has got to look for this. He's got to clear this house if he wants to be able to get himself onto objective. I don't think he's ready for this at all. No, he's not. Spoilty's going to be able to find that kill. Now it's all up to Icy Woods. He's going to try to get that refrag. Now he gets his attention focused elsewhere as Mantis pushes the attack. Mantis finds that, and Vikings will get their first point of Suburbia. Wow, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so engulfed in the action. It does get addicting, doesn't it? Really fun to watch, watching. It, I think the, the great thing about watching a beginners or a Vikings game is that, unlike, you know, say, look, I'm just gonna throw your team out there. If we did like SMC Danglers, the action happens in the first minute, but with these kinds of games, we have a kind of build up and then it just all kind of comes to a grand finale at the end of the round. And that's really the art artistry of watching or, you know, casting a EU game is that is that build up. Even though it does take up a lot of time to do so, I think that's what makes it worth it.
Vikings have gotten their first point back on the board here. Beginners are still looking to be able to close out map three and be able to win it on their own. They are so close to victory. Like, they are right there. And now all they have to do is defend the burning porch objective. It's a very interesting one. We usually see people uh, kind of play a little bit more off objective, maybe try to get some flanks going on. It is pretty, it's on an extreme side of the map, considering how objectives go. We have like, Three in the middle, and then three on extreme sides. This one's the only one on the extreme side that's on the south side, so. Vikings pre-fire. Yeah, and it's pretty on point. Definitely does slow up Killinger just a little bit, but he's still able to get into his spot. Neox is able to find spoilty. That's a trade, actually. A nade comes out. It's traveling too far. Not like is it going to be able to live another day. A rocket of a nade, though. Try to watch that middle house. There is one member in there. We're not seeing it used as heavily as we normally see beginner's defenses, but that's because it's not one of those center objectives where the middle house has direct overwatch over. It's being defended. Yeah, normally more you'd see lane. someone on the front porch or something, yeah. you know, looking back or carport. Being able to hold on that front porch, especially with these bulletproof railings, can be helpful. Not perfect cover, that but nade it'll do lands it. right on top of Killinger yeah. with an airburst. And the confirm is not able to come out. It looks like Smalls is going to be able to go for that res. People have got to hold on to their nades a little less. We know you love them. You just got to let it go. Another air burst comes out. Killing just able to find Uncle Sam. And is able to get Woods 43 inside the middle house. Well, actually, oh, he rotated out. He now, rotated yeah. out, yeah. Not the best rotation to have. It's key. I think he was just trying to force a flank. He able to try to catch Vikings off guard, but having Mantis there on lane one and two, definitely the right call. Be able to kind of run as security, or operation security for Vikings. He is down, so Mantis's position has probably been given out by Woods by now. Yeah, he's been talking this entire time. Killinger is going to be... Launch, lobbing a nade, it's per nice Oh, it's a flash. That was a frag. Yeah, that would be perfect if it was a frag. Another that one comes out. There we go. Killers is able to find Nog with a great nade. The res can come up, but it looks like Corzy is occupied with other things at the moment. What else is kind of inside there, but Killers will be able to pick up Corzy now. There's only one member. That's going to be Mantis. He can go for a res, but it's in a very dangerous spot. But it, I think, judging by his pathfinding, it looks like he's going to be going for that res. Uh, Woods43 is still alive in the backyard yeah, and can make this call, call out. out. He's going to call it out. If he hasn't called it out, I don't know what he's doing. but oh, he, Yeah, he's definitely calling out. So that's why Mantis is going for that refresh or that, uh, that confirm. He's, Mantis has got to get across this very dangerous spot right now. He's actually going to go back and go... Behind the house is already to be able to kind of find more cover. There isn't too much, but it does provide just enough to be able to get around and be able to move safely into a place where he can actually start thinking about this res. And this is the res that he needs. Beginners have three people up. And Vikings only have one mobile right now. Just move along the side here. He's going to take his time here. He's trying to be sneaky. He's not trying to give away his position just yet to Smoils or Dr. Killinger. Looks like he's going to be able to get this res pretty safely. Granted, no other excellent nades don't come out, but it doesn't look like that uh, beginners are going to press that kind of attack just yet. Yeah, two Vikings still have to deal with three beginners, one being in spawn house still, which gives a lot of uh, yeah. coverage on both sides of the objective. That smoke coming out now, then Nalik rotating the opposite way. Maybe they think, maybe he's trying to use that as a... Smoils uh, is pushing the attack. Nalik's not going to be ready. The nade does come out, but that nade was meant for Smoils, but Smoils had the upper hand in that situation. Mantis is going to rotate 180 degrees and go toward lane one. Might get spotted out by the member of Beginners that are in that top story here, but Beginners are looking pretty good to close out map three with a win of their own. 
It's only Mantis being the last guy who can possibly be up. Mantis took shots, gave away his position yeah. as he rotated to APC. Now he's got to wait. He's got a minute 30. And he doesn't really have any good approaches. And the beginner's he's, call. Killinger sees his butt. Killinger's able to find Mantis. Beginners will take map three. Final score line four. The, uh, the entire match will be 2-2-1. Two, two, Vikings being victorious, but beginners, like I said, were able to take map three, get some of that MMR back, and uh, kind of even up with the scores a little bit. And if we take a look at the uh, the final scores here, we currently have a nine to seven scoreline. So it's definitely leaning toward Vikings here. It's definitely a lot closer than how it was looking in the first round, though. Yeah, but Vikings are the team on top currently, so you know they'll stay on top. Yeah, the um, beginners may or may not go down a rank or two. We're not sure. We'll have to see after the uh, scores get put in. But currently, the worldwide standings are Global Chem, Vikings, Beginners, G Men, SMC Tactical, the top five. Yeah, they're definitely able to uh, cement their position on that scoreboard by proving that they are indeed the top team over beginners. But we're going to wrap it up there. Trip, do you have any other final thoughts before we uh, head out? Um, I think uh, just that we m there may still be a cast happening on Onward Master League 3. So if there is, we'll host over to there. But other than that, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, it's definitely been an exciting game. Some very interesting uh, events happening here. Crazy caps, Markov, Makarov kills, and Makarov attempts as well. Broken controllers, you name it, it was in this game. Definitely a very fun one to pick up. We're going to sign off now. We will see you all later. Have a great one, everyone.